Good morning, folks. Here I am in my in my home office. I wanted to talk today about this uh, laser layout thing that I saw on LinkedIn. Uh, Jake Hall um, uh, shared this, and uh, it's the uh, Jake Hall, by the way, the manufacturing millennial. Share this thing from Vertec. It's a uh, laser guidance system that projects a green laser down onto what the welders are uh, are, are working on. Um, I saw a system like this a couple years ago, probably about four years ago now, uh, when I was working for Building Point. We went and visited the guys over at Faro in Montreal, and they spent some time uh, showing us their projector. Uh, similar kind of uh, process where you have a, a box and the box sits up on a tripod or, or on the wall or the ceiling or something, and it projects a green laser down onto the onto the workpiece. What makes this different from older laser projection systems is the older laser projection systems had a table and you had to have the workpiece perfectly aligned on that table because the laser projector above was perfectly aligned to the table. Um, and the laser projection was actually just one dimensional. So it was just lines on a, you know, on a, on a, on a panel or a table. Um, these newer laser projection systems looks like this Vertec thing, Vertec Vision International, um, the Faro uh, laser projector as well. They would they can project in 3D. So when the surface is there up off the workpiece, then you've got the, the, the shape of the angle or, or the shape of the bolt or the shape of the hole. Um, what's neat about these systems is, is you can then start layering uh, parts of the process. You know, one a clip goes on a beam and then something else gets attached to that clip or in the, or my thinking was on a, on a pressure vessel when you're trying to attach a nozzle to the pressure vessel or you're trying to attach some ladder clips or platform clips to the pressure vessel, that thing's up in space, right? So as long as you can get the laser projector properly um, properly aligned to the vessel, then you can project that image up to, you know, something that's something that's up high in the air. And then the fabricator fitter can go in and put it up and in the right place in space. The opportunity here is a huge time savings. Fabricators today spend more time with their tape measure and their square than they do with the crane or the welder or, or moving things around, right? Um, the challenge though will be that this workflow is different. So a, a fabricator, their workflow is today, you give him or her a drawing and they spend time scratching their head, looking at the drawing right on the shop floor and laying out exactly what they do want to do on the shop floor. Then they go get a couple of helpers and they start doing, you know, they start making measurements, marking things with chalk and their squares and all that kind of thing until they have, uh, until they're ready to uh, start actually attaching parts. Then they attach the parts where they've marked out and, and, and built from there. The workflow with a, a laser projection system goes back to the um, goes back into the office. You got to get the detailer involved. So that fabricator who knows the best way to put the parts together has got to sit down with the detailer, and the two of them need to think about okay, in the three D model, what's the order of operations for this thing to be assembled? So the fabricator's got to sit there and say, well, you know what, we're going to put we're going to put this part on that part first, and then we're going to flip it over, and then we're going to add this part, and then we're going to move it here, and then we're going to add that part. Um, that's all got to get done in a virtual world, so that then the projections can be prepared and taken out to the shop. Then the projections, you know, on a on a zip draw on a jump drive or on you know on the company's intranet, need to go out to the shop, need to get loaded into the laser projection system. And then the projection system has to get aligned to the workpiece and then the fabricator can start. So there's a lot more preparation in advance um, of these laser projection um, tools. Uh, people would say with that kind of preparation that maybe this is only good for repeatable, you know, um, things that you do a hundred times over. I, I don't think that's true. I think you can still do this for custom parts, but you gotta be prepared to put the time and effort into the front end of the process so that you're actually going to be maximizing the time in the shop. It means maybe taking that fabricator out of the shop for a day, having that fabricator work with a detailer or a 3D modeler in the office, do literally doing virtual construction and then going back into the shop. So then you have some inactive shop. No, it means you need to think about how the shop gets organized too. So for these laser projection systems to really take off in a custom fabricator, it's going to change the workflow. But I think there's a, I think I think there's a real opportunity there. I think it gives an opportunity to maximize how much the shop gets used because you don't have that fabricator sitting there scratching scratching her head in front of a big empty unused shop space. 
you can maximize the amount of assembly that gets done in the shop space, but you also have to have that fabricator comfortable coming out of the shop, going to the office and doing some, doing some work with a detailer. Anyway, some quick thoughts on this idea. Uh, I appreciate Jake for, uh, from the manufacturing millennial for, for sharing this one. Um, and I hope you enjoyed my little video. I hope it's not terrible. Uh, share some feedback with me. I'd love to hear what you think.